Hi guys, welcome back to the show. So, we had a conversation with Harriet yeah. and she spoke about how, you know, cooking became therapy for her. And today she's going to show us an amazing dish. Something fishy. Oh my God, Something this song is not going to be my mind now. Yeah. Honestly, but Something no. Something fishy, what are we cooking? <laughs> We're going to make a prawn curry today. Okay. Very simple, easy. We're in the winter, mom. So if you feel in for something, you know, hot and spicy. This is what, you know, I'm going to teach you. Something so, fishy. Not something fishy. <laughs> something fishy. I've got here some prawns. Um, <laughs> these are my ingredients. I've got some chopped tomatoes. I use two chopped two tomatoes, chop them up. I've got like about a finger of ginger, just finely chopped. One shallot there, some chopped up coriander. You chopped your own finger, didn't you? Your thumb. Yes, I was trying to, you know, spice up. Yeah, but then apparently it's illegal. Oh. <laughs> um, so that, um, that's some garlic. Oh, I just got that. Yeah, I feel like you didn't get the joke, but now you get it. <laughs> I had a well moment. <laughs> oh god, okay, let's go. I've got some chili over there. Um nice. these are my spices. Um paprika, you need some ground chili, that's optional. Turmeric, that gives the yellowiness. Well, and some curry powder obviously. Nice. And yeah, black pepper and some coconut milk. Okay. We're gonna get straight into it. Okay. Something right. fishy. Well, what you're gonna have to stop singing that song. <laughs> So in here I've got about a tablespoon of coconut um, oil coconut and oil, okay. some butter. So, okay. so there is a ta two ta tablespoon of butter, tablespoon, tablespoon of, of yeah. Um, you can just oil. use coconut milk. I'm just extra. Okay. So yeah, just nice. let that melt down. Something sizzle. <laughs> I can't. I like that one. Something, Something sizzle going down. Hey. <laughs> Something sizzle. Right. Once that's melting down, okay. We're gonna go in first with. <laughs> The shallots, nice. onions, if nice. you use that. Okay. And I'll put Yum. the heat up just a touch. Okay. Alright, you wanna just saute that, sweat that a little bit. Nice. Get the flavours coming out. Right, so I'm gonna go in now with my ginger. Okay. And garlic yeah, at the same the time. Me, the so right, I think I'm <laughs> noticing a pattern here. I think Mama's gonna <laughs> sing to everything I say. So let's see what she's got for this. What I'm gonna this? put in my garlic. No, I don't have anything for that. <laughs> so yeah, that's ginger and garlic gone in now. Okay. Um, just continue to fry that. Just smell. So beautiful. Love it. Aromatic. <laughs> that looks so pretty, bro. Wow. Mm. I cook with my nose. Okay. So you know That's how interesting. um most people use their hands, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> but you know, like with tasting and things like that, I just go with the smell the that smell, I'm getting. Like, okay, it's if ready. the smell is is hitting my nose, correct. Mm. Then I know the Soldier. flavor is working. Yeah. yeah. Hitting. <laughs> yeah, what is your chef page? Um Harry's Kitchen. Yeah. Um so there's no E in the kitchen. So okay. K I T C H N. Why did you do that? Because Harry's kitchen with an E was taken, and I just like the look of kitchen with an E. Oh my goodness! I, I don't want to put you places that make it so hard to find your page. I just, I just, you know. But it's it's just if the name is taken, and I didn't want to yeah. put an underscore or like a full stop or anything. Guess, yeah. yeah. And uh, me and my partner's one, the one that we mentioned. Yeah. That's Beauty and the Chef. Okay. Well, I'm the beauty. <laughs> um. Yeah. So that's where you can book us for like private chefing or chefing. private dining. Cool events right so nice. i like smells i'm getting now i'm gonna put a little bit of the coriander in there okay and the tomatoes as well okay the tomato flew around oh, she had stuff for that one <laughs> <laughs> nice 
This actually reminds me of like Nigerian egg where you put like, oh, the right. tomato. Oh right, and... egg, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you guys live very differently to what we do yeah. in Ghana. You, what do you guys, how do you guys make your egg? We don't eat yam and egg like you guys do. Like it's just like basically like scrambled eggs. We oh, so you stew. have the omelet? No, we make stew, egg stew. Egg stew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then basically like you make your stew. Yeah. And then chuck in the tomato, the eggs so at the end. Where are you from in Ghana? So I know there's um, different tribes. Right. So my mom is Ewe. Okay. That's from the Volta region, and my dad is Da. Well, he's half Ga, half Ewe. Okay. And he's from Togo. Okay. It doesn't really make sense, but he's Ga. Okay. Um, but then I was born in Accra, so... Just I'm, everywhere, aren't you? I'm an Accra girl. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I just let the tomatoes cook down a little bit. Okay. Um, Juices out. Nice. And I, can, I, think, I can feel it now. Yeah. I'm the, feeling the bubbly, it. yeah. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. What I, <laughs> I think initially I wanted to make like a full-on lamb curry. Yeah. But, but then... But of the studio. <laughs> yes. But that lamb curry is so good. I think I need to make it for you one of these okay. days. Really, really I good. I love a bit of lamb as well. Yeah, yeah. Now behold the lamb. Honestly, <laughs> and Christmas is coming up, <laughs> guys. I have to tell you about Lyo. They sent me some stuff. Um, they sent me. They gifted me this apron, um, and they said, "Dear most, such an inspiration. I hope you enjoy your aprons and hand gloves." So they got me some oven gloves as well. Really appreciate your support, Victoria. Thank you so much, Victoria. You guys definitely Your stuff are amazing. Yeah. I love the colours going yeah, on. Yeah, I love the colours, the patterns as well, right? Yeah, it is nice. <laughs> Do you not cook with Maggie? It's... It, this is this is the African Yeah, bondage. Speaking. Bondage with you Maggie. You cannot cook a curry with Maggie. Why? Because <laughs> it is not African. There is no part of a curry that ask for maggie yes yeah, so please whatever you do do not put any maggie in here at all um <laughs> salt my prawns a little oh wow that was really fancy <laughs> and, she's um, not maggie in her prawn she's salted them salt and pepper yes salt and pepper it's okay not everyday maggie you didn't even say pepper all. you said pepper it's okay pepper. <laughs> um yeah let that sit in its juices over okay. there um, oh, this is doing very good. Yeah. Time to turn down the heat. Okay. And then we're going to go into seasoning now. Okay. Um, without Maggi. Without Maggi? Yeah. We're going to do one teaspoon paprika. Nice. I'm not going to mention it again. It's roughly. Use your eyes. Yes. Just That's the African now, isn't to it? Tell you. <laughs> Some Harriet. paprika about. Harriet. Yes. Stop. Some black pepper going in there. Lovely. Some chili. Wonderful. I can really smell that now. Wow. Yeah. That is gorgeous. Um, give that a quick mix. Mm. Can I mix it? Go for it. Yeah. I think yeah, I might yeah, put love some more. Ginger, that's not the, there's no mixing song. That's the mixing song though. I'm putting a bit more of my turmeric. Because I want to get that bright yellow. That is nice. Gorgeous. Color. Right. So my base is looking good. I am awesome. happy with that. Um, I'll put in some chili. I was gonna say, when's the the pepper coming? You know, that's the Yoruba in me. I'll leave the rest for garnish. Nice. Okay. Looking Guys, good. Guys, that is that is stunning. Lovely. That is actually really stunning. Wow. I tried to make a curry the other day. How oh, did that go? It was okay, you know. Yeah. But I'm I feeling think... like I'm liking the bulk of what, because yours is a bit thicker. Right. Because I use like the spices and coconut milk, but I didn't use um, like you've got tomatoes in there. Yeah, there's very ma like, many different ways to make a curry. Okay. And um, I think this is like the most basic of it, because uh -huh. it's so not. What did I do? If that was <laughs> this is basic, what did I do? This is not very heavy, basic like. Minus. <laughs> ah, well. <laughs> I don't know, you tried. E for effort. E for effort. E! Yeah, this is, it doesn't have all the spices that will go into, say, the lamb curry I was going to make. Okay, okay. Do you see what I mean? Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's quite easy to follow, guys, so you guys can definitely try this at home. Coconut milk. Use a good quality one. I didn't get the one I wanted, but this would do What's just a good quality fine. one? 
you know what I can't remember the name at the moment but when I see it um I usually get it from Tesco okay. right so we're gonna now have to wait for it to sizzle okay um Something just sizzle. taste it for so honestly I can't deal with more I really can't <laughs> Yep. Yes, we're, yep. getting, we're getting it. <laughs> okay, that's what's waiting for. So now that the sizzle has started, so it started, then I can put the prawns okay, in so okay. that it sizzles mm. fully with the prawns. That looks so good. Oh my goodness, wow. love and a ginger me. Please, somebody take it off there. <laughs> nice. Yes, now we just gotta wait for it to boil. Okay. So earlier we made some rice, didn't we? So yes. is, it, is this a special rice or like? Um, jasmine, thai jasmine rice. rice. Okay. Um, I cooked it with a little splash of oil. Okay. Um, for that, um, it's gonna say anchovy. That smells that's so good. good. That's um, star anise, just for the, the smell that you're getting. What's that? Star, star anise. An star anise. Yeah. Wow. Okay. It anise. has a little sweetness and then the aroma is just okay, beautiful. Cool, cool. And when it cooked, um, I was trying to do the Thai. Like the turn now version of the sticky rice, uh -huh. but not quite. So okay. then put a little bit of butter to nice. get it going. Nice. And yeah. then you Ghanaians like to just add things. You know, sometimes yeah. Nigerians just boil the rice. Nigerians butter. I mean, <laughs> Ghanaians butter. Just. Oil. You know, I used to do oil and onions actually. It gave it a nice flavor. Yeah. Yeah. What my stepmom does is, I don't know how she does it, but it's just, mm, it's just, just white rice, you know. But then it. Oh, oh, wow. Anyway, so that's that. Um, I have used broken rice, so you'll notice it's not the full length of okay. rice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, just more flavor. You broke the rice? <laughs> <laughs> the rice comes broken. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Ooh, lovely. Coriander, it goes very well nice. with curries. Okay. Um, I think Coriander. Somebody... Or cilantro. Curry, get it? Coriander. I, I, I didn't get it. Curry, because curry, coriander. Try again. Curry, you don't get it. I truly don't. What? Get you it. really don't get it? Are you talking about curry as in a human being? <laughs> no, I don't get it. <laughs> Try again. Curry. What's this? Where's that thing? Oh! Wow! My prawns are turning pink, which nice. is good. Ooh, that's a good sign. Me, normally I would have mati fried prawn, yeah, I would have fried it. So yeah, ordinarily you think you fry the prawns yeah. first, but when you do that, you dry it out. So then mm. when you come and put it in here, it's just dry and it's not nice and... I'm, I'm realizing a lot of things. Yeah. Just... And then when you cook, especially mm -hmm. like for me, I watch millions of videos. Say today I decide to make jollof fries. Best believe I'm watching a whole lot of videos about how to make mm. that jollof rice, mm. and then I pick up little ideas from here, um, from there. Okay. And then, yeah, you just you guys let us know down go. below, Nigerian or Ghana jollof rice. It's, it's not a conversation. You know what? Because it is Ghana jollof. I agree with you. Oh, okay. I thought I was gonna fight. Oh, you okay, okay. I was gonna be one of those Nigerians I that, that like to be in denial. I'm but the bottom fight. line is, it belongs to neither of us. It is Senegalese. You know what? In origin, okay. I did that on but my I, page. I do think Ghanaians do it better, simply because of the extra spices that they add. Like I yeah. said, the Nigerians were very. Um, I'll we, cut you them more because I need to put okay, in the go lemon. On, go on, go on, go on. Just lemon, about two teaspoons. Okay. But you're squeezing it. Yeah. Where's the teaspoon? <laughs> the the spirit in me. Oh, yeah. Okay. Your father. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's about sweet teaspoons, isn't it? That looks amazing. Um, but what was it? I was gonna say is like Nigerians were more concerned about things like pepper. Just making it spicy. What's yeah. that? Your pepper, your pepper goat thing. Asu. Pepper goat. Asu? Oh, I am actually. No, no, no. Asu. Peppered goat, yeah. yeah, yeah oh yeah. my god. You like it? No. You hate it. Wow. I like the I flavor it. of it. Yeah. But then it does. That's the thing. We don't, we don't really experiment with our flavors. We like, we love a Maggie. We love, you know, we love, um, and we don't really cook with raw spices as well. I guess some chefs do, but generally, anyway, yeah. the way I've been brought up, because someone might come and say that was just your mom, but <laughs> the way I was brought up, we use like, all these kind of ingredients you guys you know use the gingers and yeah something yeah, yeah yeah um how's it tasting and it needs to boil so the the lemon mm, kind of just goes mm. so properly 
Oh, this is beautiful. This is gorgeous. About another five minutes just to simmer okay. cool. and simmer down as well. Okay. And, and we're good. Yeah. Nice. Okay, go for it. You can taste. Okay. Oh, taste. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you are ready to eat. I'm hungry. It's been a long day on set, guys. <laughs> Mm. That is stunning. Yeah? And no Maggie. Wow. No Ma you guys, you do not need Maggie. You just need the right spices, the nice. right it's not always about seasoning. Mm. Right spices. spices. So you want to use stuff like fennel seed, stuff like mixed spices rather than mixed seasoning. Africans just love mixed seasoning. Let's go and carry all purpose. Everything all purpose. No, like use What just... was the reason? <laughs> Right, so the colour's got a bit darker because you do notice it was more white at the beginning. Mm -hmm. So now I know that it's cooking, you know, yeah. down. Yeah, are we ready? Yes, we are. Fantastic. Let's taste it. Moment of truth. Mmm. Mm. That is gorgeous. Yeah? And no Maggie in sight. <laughs> mm -mm. You said taste more. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I'm gonna get Careful, chili. that's a chili that might hit. Yeah, I love a chili, you know. Really? I'm God, I don't like the too spicy. There's three chilies in there. Nice and soft, not too chewy. Fantastic. Thank you so Wonderful. much, Harriet, for coming and showing us this. You guys at home, definitely try it. Ooh, I'm feeling that chilli now. Yeah, there was three, I told you. I love it though. Yeah. I love the kick. Thank you so much. This is so gorgeous. Try it at home, please. You know they say don't try this at home, but please try this at try home. Try this at home. And tag us and everything. Cool. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this show. Make sure if you liked it, share it with your friends. And also subscribe to this channel for more. Until next time, guys, peace and love. Peace, peace and, and chunks. Bye.